Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. Thank you so much for joining in. This is a hydraulic ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. If you're familiar with the channel here, I have tested these a lot over the past several years, and I'm happy to say I now have a few practical applications for the ram pump. We're here in my 20 by 20 garden space where I'm going to be installing the Sininger Wobbler. It's this little device here that requires 10 PSI and about one gallon per minute to operate. Let me get a little closer here for you. So water will shoot out of a nozzle. It's hard to see, but it's here, this little yellow piece coming from this half inch barb here. And it will spray into this pointed piece. And what's gonna happen is it will start to wobble like all over the place. And as it does that, you can see it's got a direction here so it will start to spin and wobble and that's going to spray water all over this garden space here and uh, hopefully will be a practical solution for watering a garden with a ram pump i want to test this in two different ways i have my water storage at the top of the hill which comes down to the garden with close to 15 16 psi which is enough to run this I also have the ram pump in the creek, which will come up to this spot easily with about the same PSI. So I want to test out from the tanks, gravity feed, and straight from the ram pump. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use half inch poly pipe to my water source over here. I've marked out the middle of my garden. I'm going to be driving this piece of unistrut down here to lift this up into the air. So this may be a little bit too long, we'll have to see, but if I want to get this above some of my plants, I'm going to want it to be a little bit tall. This bit of unistrut is nice and firm there in the ground, comes up to about three foot here. Now I need to measure out the distance between the top here down to the ground and over here to my water source so that I can cut my poly pipe. Not a very long distance here, but should be good. One of the reasons I wanted to use this unistrut is because this poly pipe, the half inch fits very well inside of it. Should lock it down nice and tight. So I'm just gonna measure this up to the top here. And I actually brought some zip ties to help keep this in place. It's going to use a couple of these here, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Very nice. So the goal is to bury this underground by about uh, six inches or so. But I want to make sure that I can come up here and turn into my hose just fine. Uh, so I'm probably going to leave maybe an extra piece about like this out here. Alright, I'm going to dig down about six inches here and bury this. Should be more than enough. This is going to be my path into my garden, so I won't be planting anything on top of this. Okay, I got my little trench dug here. It's time to get this laid down. Like I said, this is on my path, so as long as I remember where it is and don't try to dig it back up, it should be good to go. On top of my poly pipe, I'm using a half inch barb fitting and I just have a fitting to go to the threads of the wobbler. I'm just gonna push this down in here. Yeah. And then use a screwdriver to tighten this hose clamp. Now because this is kind of wobbly, I may have to come back and put another zip tie in there. But let's go ahead and install the wobbler. This is the Excel Wobbler. It is a bit smaller than some of the larger commercial ones, but it just has a half inch pipe razor down here, which I'm going to wrap with some Teflon. Now it's plastic, so may not be necessary to put the Teflon, but 
I prefer to put it on there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that screwed down. Okay, except for maybe tightening this a little bit more with a pair of channel locks, this end is ready. Definitely has a nice wobble to it. All right, so pipe comes down inside of that unistrut channel, is buried underground. Now we need to connect this side over here. I think what I can do is bend this pipe back out just enough to attach to this lower piece here. So let's see what we can do about that. I have another half inch barb fitting that goes to a garden hose adapter. Go ahead and screw that onto here. Get it decently tight. And then this one, I just want to see about getting it up here good enough. Looks like if I were to cut it about right here, we should be good. Now, always remember to put your hose clamp on there first. And let's get this bent up here into position. Almost sprayed myself there. I've never used this product before, but I have watched some YouTube videos and it can spray quite far with the right pressure. So, let's back up and uh, get this started. So this right here comes from the tanks up on the hill that the ram pump is filling, and this will turn on our water. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a bit better here. Yikes, okay. <laughs> Man, that thing starts going in a hurry. Whew, cool. Man, that is awesome. So my valve is open about halfway, and it seems to be hitting the parameter of the garden just right. Let's open it up a little bit more and see what we get. I've got some air in the line. See if I can let that air out from this side. Well, that seems to be pretty good. Let's see what's going on here. Already got some debris stuck in there. Must have been inside of the pipe that wasn't flushed. So let's see about doing a little bit of maintenance here. See it in there? Some kind of little stick or something. So it may be worth me putting a quick release on here just to pop it off and clean out any debris that gets stuck in there. Let's see if that's good enough. Yeah. Ooh, ah. Yeah. Okay. Yikes. I'm standing about 20 feet away and it is hitting just here at my feet. So it is definitely up too high at this point. I've got the water turned way down to see just what the range is on this thing. And uh, the first thing I want to test is what's getting to the ground right below the wobbler. I can actually see that the ground right here at the door is getting wet. I want to see what happens underneath the wobbler. All right, yeah, I'm still getting wet here underneath. Uh, it's a pretty decent spray. I think if I left this on for about two hours, everything under here would be wet. Let's go over to the corner and see what range it's getting to over here. Okay, the edge of the water is about right here, which if you look at it, makes sense because it's making a sweeping motion that would hit the door there. So I would need to increase the water a little bit outside to uh, get the corners. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Oop, wrong way. Ah. Okay, yeah, this is hitting the corners right here. Pretty decent. That's really great. Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna see how far this will spread whenever I turn on the full 16 PSI. 
All right, it's hitting right here, which is another, uh, I don't know, 10 feet or so outside of the garden. So if it was uh, 11 in there, you're looking at about a 22 or so foot radius. So in order to hit 40 feet, that's pretty impressive uh, for the low flow rate that I've got here. Now that it's full open, I'm gonna step underneath again and see how much water is getting right below the unit. It's mostly just a mist, but I still think that over the course of a couple hours, it would be enough to get the ground wet. I think I'm going to let this run for a while and see if we can find the circle that it's making with the water. Well, it's beginning to rain. I don't want to get the camera wet while we're out here. So I will say that the Sinninger uh, XL Wobbler is going to be sufficient to water my little 20 by 20 garden here. If you want to check out this product for your own ram pump application, then I will have a link to their Amazon page in the description down below. Now they also sent me another size here. It's a, a number six nozzle on both of them, but this one has larger um, little shoots coming off of it. So we will have to test that out as well. But uh, for now, I think what's gonna be beneficial is to put a quick release on here, somewhere down in here, so I can pop this out real quick and do a cleaning. I will also probably need to do some kind of very basic spin down filter here to keep the debris from the ram pump out because right now, that's had uh, two bits stuck in there. Like if I turn this on, you can see there's more stuck in that size six nozzle. And it has stopped the unit from spinning. So um, anyway, I'll have to bring you back for a little spin down filter of some kind that's easy to access and clean. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. There are lots and lots of videos on the channel for you to enjoy. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. If you've enjoyed this video, please click subscribe. Also, check out these other Ram Pump videos. And remember, I have four sizes of Ram Pump for sale at landahouse.com and on Amazon. Links in the description down below.